Hey everyone, it's me, Dirty Honey. So today I'm uh, talking about meditation, and I've had a few people ask me about, you know, techniques or whatever, and so, uh, or to expand on techniques that I use. And so what I'm going to do is talk about what I do when I say meditation. There's a lot of forms of meditation. My definition, to me, I don't know, dude, but the real thing is I never really, I don't even know what the definition of meditation is. <laughs> I'm probably misusing it, but basically what I consider meditation is focus of my mind inward to exclude everything on the outside and just experience everything that is inside and look at it or feel it or experience it really close like with a magnifying glass and to while focusing with the magnifying glass it's kind of contradictory but you're also releasing and relaxing and letting it happen so it's not like you're forcing it to happen you're entering the water or something like that the water that is meditation and so when I heard of meditation in the past, and that's just my definition or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, in the past, when I, you know, was heard of meditation in the past and kind of pictured what I thought it was, I always wondered, how do people get into that state of meditation? How do you enter it? And I know I've heard of things called a mantra where you'll have like this... I don't know what you, how you generate a mantra or where it comes from, but it's kind of like your meaningful representation of yourself in, in a short saying. Something like that, I think. And you just kind of repeat that to yourself until you find yourself detached from the physical world or whatever. And you're now, you know, out of that and you're more focused inside your brain and what's happening to my body and how does this experience feel or whatever it is you're trying to get out of that meditation experience. And so to enter meditation and to enter that state of meditation, for me, there's different techniques. But recently I came into one that I think is, at right now, is like my favorite. And it's like the happiness technique or whatever I don't know what to call it but basically I t I focus on I can try to generate a, 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 a genuine happy feeling in something by thinking about something or whatever and then write it out or more often than not I just experience a happy feeling out of randomness or whatever I don't know how it happens but I'll notice that I'm feeling happy and then I'll extend into that and so what do I mean by that um, Let's take the example of whatever it is. I'm going to give an example of how I create my own feeling of happiness uh, that I can then focus on and try and extend into what I consider a meditation state. So what I do when I want to try to find that happy feeling, I think of outer space or what you know humans call outer space okay because there's a whole you know this is a theory potentially outer space some people are like oh i don't believe in outer space and it's just because you think it's there and whatever i'm not going that deep we're riding the outer space thing so in my mind over time at the bottom of my ocean there's information that was poured on me and settled down and i remember being told and have seen images of and can look into the sky and see darkness in outer space and then all the little stars and the moon and stuff, right? But in the Big Bang theory of creation or, or how we got here, that's where my mind tries to go. So I try to imagine what the Big Bang was like, if there was one. And I'm not saying, oh, I believe in the Big Bang, and that's the truth. Okay, dude, I'm taking this theory of the Big Bang and trying to make it real in my head for the purpose of putting myself somewhere in my head that is not here on Earth and is imaginary-ish. And so I find that place in outer space, but before outer space existed, before the Big Bang, there was something. And so what was there before the Big Bang happened and then I like to try and imagine that bang happening 
and watching in my mind outer space expanding into this whatever which I immediately picture as this blank light or whiteness to contrast the dark outer space that is expanding into something and in order for me to reference that edge of expansion of outer space that I see as darkness I my mind wants the, the other side of that to be light and so the contrast is necessary for me to create that that border of outer space expanding into something and so for me uh, I picture light like just blank whiteness and then I really try to focus on what is that what is it and I try to really wake my brain feel what is that space or whatever that's in front of outer space what does outer space sit in and for me trying to do that in my mind creates this happy like joy it's like a really rich happy feeling that I get from thinking about that and then once I discover that I'm having that feeling and I'm still really only focusing inward in my brain and trying to forget it works best for me you know when you're in a quiet environment or I like doing it when I drive for whatever reason that puts me in the zone and I don't have interruption there's nobody that's gonna come in as long as I don't get a phone call and make a loud noise or whatever and so I have that peace or that hum to be able to focus inward in my mind and try to you know I'm driving sometimes and I'm still paying attention to the road so this is something where your conscious can still be happening but your focus is in your mind don't drive and meditate okay don't do what dirty honey does that shit might be dangerous do it at home and lay, while you're laying in bed or something all right um, but the focus inward in my mind with and, and, and trying to just kind of almost forget about what's physical and outside and just really focus on that what I think is beyond outer space play, spa, place or whatever that gives me some sort of a rich happy feeling and I try to capture that happy feeling and, and really feel what's happening to me why am I feeling happy what is this feeling of happiness feel like where is it in me where am I feeling this and how does it feel and don't let it go and keep trying to just fully hold on to that happy feeling and really understand what it is and like ride it like a horse as far as it'll go until you what happens to me is when I'm really trying to focus on that happy feeling and try to really extend it I lo start losing touch with the physical world and that's when I that's how I'm entered into meditation and you'll have these little touches of wanting to reflect back on the physical world and you just have to kind of fight that or focus not fight it but you just put your focus back on that place in outer space or that happy feeling that you got and it's like um, for me it has to be this like mysterious happy feeling rather than thinking about somebody I love or something it works better for me that way to be able to because the things that I that I love are in the physical world and that outer space thing is something that I have to imagine. I've never experienced it. It's 100% created in my mind. I can't go there physically. And so because it's something that's a create, it requires 100% of imagination to create in my mind with no physical reference, it helps me to detach from the physical world and enter into the meditation state. And so... I take it from there and basically just try to extend all those feelings that I end up having and really try to understand what's happening to my mind and my body, where it's coming from, how it's feeling, where does it go, and how, it, how I experience those happy feelings or whatever they are. They feel like a little bit richer than happiness. I don't know. It's not just like, hey, joy. It's like interest and all these complex feelings or something and that helps to float into this place and so for me I get into that meditation state and then I kind of just feel it and experience it and I can't explain it past that it starts to sound totally trippy and weird um, but you'll have like really in touch 
physical experiences that are attached to pure mental experiences like it's a really enriching just it's like this getting to know yourself process that's very very enriching it really goes with you afterwards it's like an experience that you take with you because it all happened in your mind you can't leave it anywhere else it's in there and you went there and you actually kind of built something in your mind that you experience and now you kind of like know how to get there again you built a little trail or you left a trail in your mind that kind of allows you to go back to that place a little easier and just like when you walk on a trail through the grass over and over and over eventually it leaves a trail you know if you walk in the same place on the grass over and over and over it'll it'll beat a trail down similarly is meditation it becomes easier and easier to get to that location after doing it over and over and so that's how I kind of create my happiness. You can, I've also do it on just random spikes of happiness that I have and try and focus on them real quick. And that's usually how the driving ones happen. And I'll just be like, oh yeah, yeah and trying to find it in my mind and just enjoy happiness longer than it would have lasted if I didn't pay attention. And it leads into a meditative state, deeper depending on your environment, okay? But that's pretty much it I want to keep the video a little short so that that's 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 one of my techniques that I use um, that I call the happiness meditation technique or whatever I don't know I refer to it in my mind and I'm gonna probably name the video something like that so that's what it's called now fuck it and so that's it man do your meditation it is very good for you dude and it'll help you be nice because when you're more in touch with yourself you are goodness inside. Everything you do, you're doing it for the right reason, right? You're not some fucking pure evil and shit. You have goodness in you. This meditation helps you access that goodness, understand it, and experience it more richly or something. Anyways, you guys, be nice. Listen to 91.5 FM on the radio, dude. You can meditate while listening to this music. It doesn't have words to distract you. It lullabies you into that state as well. So if you're just trying to find a happy spike of happiness, or, or a random spike of happiness, you listening to classical music on 91.5 FM, KUSC.org on the internet, I swear to you, dude, this will help massage your mind into meditative state. So don't leave that out if you have, you know, you can do pure quietness or whatever you want to listen to, but I, I, that really is a good thing. Um, and so be nice, watch all the videos, tell your friends, like, subscribe, whatever. Tell some people, dude. Tell your friends, all right? That's how this shit works. And meditate, because it's good for you. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.